Morning everybody. Right, what I want to do, I want to do one on Road Lords uh, versus Ways. Because when you're an 18 ton, sometimes Ways wins, sometimes Road, Road Lords wins. And because we now got the fabulous Foldy phone, what I can do with the fabulous Foldy phone is I can do a screen recorder. So I'm going to hit screen record now, start recording. And the other advantage of this phone is I can run two apps at the same time. I'll show you now. I've set the postcodes already to where we're off to dummy walk around and all that hit the navigations and resume so that goes on the dashboard now and gets locked in there and we're going to hit the drive and I'm going to show you how it works providing Osmo camera on the dashboard doesn't turn itself off which is having a tendency to do this morning for no reason which I currently have it might be because I was charging I'm not sure. right the first thing we've got to do is get out of the way of huge driver training who has as usual elected to sort of park in front of me. <laughs> Mate! <laughs> Alright, thank you. Mm. Yeah, thanks for that. This is, a, this is a standard thing in the morning. We all go out at the same time. They know that I come out at the same time as them. And yet they tend to overhang me. But they're nice people and I try and let's get wound up about stuff in life. So, so for the first thing, right, so so this bit is largely pointless because road glove, I'm, uh, first of all, I'm going in the opposite direction to both sat navs because I'm heading into the yard just to turn it around. But once we turn it around, which we're going to do in here like this, lovely, nice and easy, plenty of room, get an aeroplane around there, look, fantastic. We'll turn it around here, open the window. Wave nicely at Hughes Driver Training as I go past. I might have to have a word with them one day and go, Gates, do you really need to keep parking in front of me? Like, you know, so. Right, that's it done. So now we're going to go and exit the yard now. And from the very beginning, you'll see that they're going to start to have a war. <laughs> it's like a husband and wife duo, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Road Lords and Ways. Venus and Mars, that kind of thing, you know. So now to start with, as you can see on the same end, one of them is telling me to turn right, and the other one is telling me to turn left. Waze is on the left, by the way, the road is on the right. In this situation, Road Lords is wrong. The reason it's trying to tell me to turn right is because around here, we have got um, seven and a half tonne width restrictions. Every, every single road that leads into the yard is a seven and a half tonne width restriction. The thing is, um, so what it's trying to do is it's trying to throw me right through the centre of Dunstable, out towards the M1, along the M1, and that's a very long and convoluted route. Now, if I go down here, well, you'll see it, I have to go through a seven and a half tonne width restriction. But whichever way I go, I'm gonna face one of those. Even Dunstable's got one. So it's large and pointless, it's not that I'm not doing anything wrong. And this is the shortest seven and a half tonne width restriction. It goes from, I think it's just around the corner for probably 300 yards and then back again. I think it must be designed to stop trucks coming into the the, the, the rural villages of Eton Bray and Edelsborough, which is basically where I live, and Dayton and stuff like that. It's that thing, isn't it? Everybody wants their stuff delivered, but no one wants the smelly trucks next to them. Bad luck doesn't work that way so anyway I'm going to carry on and when they the, the two of them have, um, have, have have a little fight I'm going to point out how it works and why it works seven half the seven half tonne width restriction here we come hey I turned the camera off I found something staring at me with watching myself on TV while driving all of the time, very disconcerting. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to keep turning it back on and on again, so because I know what's coming. So, we're getting to the bottom of this road now. Road Lords is telling me to turn right, Ways is telling me to turn left. I've done both routes, both routes kind of work, and the right one is more painful. 
it's, it's no particular reason other than the fact that I just prefer one over the other. This one, if you're going through Ivanhoe, at this time of day, not a problem at all. But sometimes if you're coming back, maybe at like, you know, three o'clock in the afternoon when the schools are kicking out, there's a lot of cards, there's a lot of bottlenecking. Um, so I tend to prefer this one, which is more rural country, not quite so many roads. So on, on stage number two, Waze is still winning. Check the graphic. There's no graphic. I don't do graphics. Have we met? You know. So, we're going left. 2-0 to Waze at the moment. Right, so we're coming up the two roundabouts now. These are the two roundabouts to the end. Um, let's have a little look. We'll go around the first one. Now, the second one has two exits. One takes you off to RAF Horton and the, out, out towards Wendover Way, and the other one takes us onto the A41. The A41 is easy drive. So they both they both kind of end up in the same place. One of them hits a bit of traffic at the beginning of Aylesbury, one of them bypasses it. But when you bear in mind the fact that RAF Horton tends to have low bridges and weak bridges, you're better off avoiding it for the next couple of minutes. As it is in this situation, both of them are telling me A41. So A41 it is, we're 16 minutes away. Um, yeah, we're just gonna head on now to the, um, the main bit of Aylesbury. Right, we're coming up the Aylesbury roundabouts now. Again, there were two exits they can tell me to take. One's telling me to go that way. No, they're both telling me to take the same exit today. They vary on that one. Uh, again, I prefer this one. <clears throat> that one's just got more cars down there. Sometimes why he's telling me, oh no, is it? I don't know. Too busy talking to you, I think I took the wrong exit on both. Hey! Anyhow, it'll reboot now. Uh, I happen to know that both of them go the same kind of way, so that's like, it is kind of pointless from my point of view because I know the way I'm going, but I want to try and do it to illustrate how I read the sat -navs when I don't know where I'm going. Because, yeah, okay, I've done this through a load of times, chances are I probably don't even need a sat nav full stop. But so, obviously, that, that's fine because it's local to me, but if I ever do a job, I'd know to Derby or sort of Lincoln or some area that I'm not from somewhere in Wales I'm not familiar with. You kind of learn to read the sat maps to work out which one is the best one to go with. We'll illustrate that one a bit later on. In the meantime, we're going to take a left down here and then um, right up here. We won't be going past the, uh, the, the theatre today on our way. Right, I've just realised, <laughs> I'm good, aren't I? The way I'm going, it doesn't, they don't start the discrepancy until after I've left my collection. Normally, if I go around the other way, if I head out to like the others, it's, the fight seems to happen a lot more between when I'm leaving Aylesbury, heading out towards High Wycombe Way, because that's when the country lanes start kicking. But, and I thought, oh, I've messed it up, and I've gone the wrong way. But I've, I've picked the wrong route, rather. But now, what I think we're going to do is we're going to come round here. This is one I did the other day where I um, thought I could get round and round about. I couldn't. Um, to my regular collection, which is going down to Eastbourne. But, yeah, on this part, Waze tends to get it 100% right. It's road launch. It's a bit like, no, we'll go the other way, we'll go the other way. Um, but, yeah, so now on this part, we're going to... Um, so what we're going to do is go to the collection, get the collection on board, and then after the collection, we'll have a look and see. Good morning. Morning, my friend. J.R. Smith Transport got the collection for uh, Eastbourne. Hold on, just checking the sheets. No worries. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Peter. Thank you. Cool. Thanks, mate. Mm. 
Right, that's me all loaded. Now what I've got to do is uh, reprogram the sat nav. This is where I'm going to. Okay. Bear with me a second. Loaded. So, I haven't given you the address. Of course I haven't. Um, Right, I'm going to get a dress out of the paperwork because there's nothing on the CX. No great surprise now. BN236PT. We'll pull the full of the uh, Get the sat nav up. BN236PT. Um, Right, there we go, they're both in agreement. We're off to Eastbourne. Go now. That goes on the cradle. Super duper. Route has failed. Road Lords has let me down again. It says route has failed. What do you mean route has failed? Okay. Reset, it's found it. Yay, three hours. Eastbourne's a long way. Right, okay, let's go. Absolutely no need at all to be wearing a plastic bag while driving down the road for three hours, is there now? So, right, we're gonna. That's taken, should be taken. <sighs> Bear with me. Right, off we go. I'll plug that in, just get a bit low. Um, do Good TV, this is it. Fully entertaining. Right. That's charging now. I don't know why. I, I, I pulled up to the gate and um, forgot to turn it off. It was charging all the time. I was sitting there and I think the battery's dying a bit. I have to get some new ones. So, right, off we go to Eastbourne. Battle of the Sat Navs is on again. Um, see how they fare, shall we? Okay, they're having another disagreement. Um, it did just happen, just so I turned it off, so I pulled out. Um, one of them was telling me to kind of go through Aylesbury, and one of them was telling me to go this back route. And once again, it's ways that's telling me the way to go the way that I've elected to go. The reason I've elected to go this way is there's a green sign, the way that Ways is telling me to go, that says A418. So it's an A road. So chances are, if it's an A road, I'm going to be fine. There probably isn't any bridges. There isn't any like low bridges or width or weight restriction bridges. B roads, country roads, different kind, different kind of fish, like you know. But um, and waste tends to be the better one for the traffic. So what I've done now is I'm rerouting. The thing I'm going to have to watch out for because I'm, I'm not sure where I am now. It's the seven and a half ton signs because what waste would have a tendency to go go this way this way is quicker and you go to turn off the roundabout as a red circle no vehicles over seven and a half ton and that is where road lord scores so at the moment Waze is telling me to go towards oxford and road lord is telling me to go towards aylesbury they're both a roads i'm gonna go with Waze. Let's see how we and also i think i know the general direction that i'm heading in but there's times like this Sometimes I've gone with ways and I've gone, oh, what do I do that for? And sometimes I've gone with road lords and go, well, that was a mistake because that's taking me the long way around. But in this particular instance, I've got a rough idea. I think I've just cut out the whole of Aylesbury. Don't feel the need to go back there, to be honest with you. Not that there's anything wrong with Aylesbury, just at this time in the morning when the school's kicking out and all that kind of stuff, that ain't going to be no fun. So we're going to go this way, see what happens.
See, this is the bit I want to discuss. So if you look at the um, look at it now, and Waze is telling me to go around the corner, take a left. It's where the crazy bear is, where the first crazy bear is. This is some posh pub, there's not many people as well now. But I can't do that, because if you look, if you go round there, where it says take a left, I don't know if you can see that, just over on the left hand side, there's a little circle, seven and a half tonne. Can't go that way. So I'm having to go straight round here. So see, Waze will calculate me the fastest route but it will calculate me on the fastest route based on the fact that I can do cut throughs. Because it doesn't know I'm in an 18 ton truck, you can't program it for, well, it's a shame, if you could program either Waze or Google for low bridges and trucks, it would put the, the um, sat nav people, the, the lorry sat nav people out of business. But you can't. So road laws have said go back that way, because in an 18 ton truck, if you go this way, you're going to get caught in a load of traffic. Waze has gone, go this way, because you're in a car, you can zip through and I'm not. Still trust ways though. You learn to know which way to go, you know, after a while. But so just to give you an, you know, it's now ways has now added time on my route because it's, it wanted me to turn left there. But I can't turn left there. I'm in an 18 ton. Now I'm sitting in traffic. It's okay. Part of the job. We're at temperature. We're at uh, temperature traffic lights. So looking at that again. Something else you can do. Road Lords is saying in half a mile, I, I, I need to angle left. Waze is saying straight over the roundabout. So what we do is we touch the top of Waze and we have a look and see, okay, well, what's coming up? It's an A road, it's an A road, it's an A road, it's an M road. So I should be fine to go the way that I'm going with Waze. I've got to be honest with you. In this particular trial that we've just done this morning, Road Lords hasn't come out very well. But that is not a fair indication of the how this works, like you know, because those seven and a half ton, that seven and a half ton sign that I saw when I turned right, the one that would say to pass the crazy bear, I do route sometimes, and Waze is going, go right here, seven and a half ton sign, go right here, seven and a half ton sign, follow around the corner, go right here, seven and a half ton sign. What Road Lords is giving me is what I suppose the um, the Tom Tom mob would call easy drive which is, okay, the route we're giving you is gonna take you 10 minutes longer than the route of cutting through houses. But A, it's simple. Straight roads to big junctions, to straight roads to big junctions. And B, that route that we tell you is gonna be quicker isn't gonna be quicker because you're cutting through houses in the States. You're gonna be stopping all the time, giving way to cars, trying to get through little narrow passes, trying to go down country lanes. And that's just gonna drive you mad, knock your wing mirrors out and, um, you know, and actually end up taking you longer in the long run. So it's way you learn ways to read ways, if you like, and you learn ways to read like uh, road laws as well. And, um, just coming up here, you, you, you'll look to the left and right of you, and you'll see. I think there is a there's one coming up here on the on the um, right hand side, and it's got no lorries. We're camera up. CMPR cameras or something like that. And it's like we really don't want you here. And sometimes ways will go, take a right. And I think, I ain't going to go down there. I mean, I'm going to go down there anyway because I can't, but I'm particularly not going to go down there if it means I'm going to get caught on camera and get an 80 pound fine. But it is learning ways to read the two of them between them. So I'm going to go now, I'm going to go down here, and this takes me straight through to what we kind of in. Um, on our way towards Beaconsfield, and then it's motorway. And from that point of view, from motorway, Waze is fine, because it's motorway, until, but I always program them both up. I leave them both going, because it's quite nice to leave them both going. And also, you never know if Waze is doing that, oh, he's gonna reverse this with me. Um, Waze is absolutely fine, and then suddenly, but a, that's right, mate, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, and then something falls over in front of you. There's a diversion. Come off here. And you think, I've got no idea where I am. I've come off this diversion two roads later. I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's handy to have both. How you go about having both, I mean, I've got the fancy folding phone, but you can always get yourself a, a, a second phone, or you can get yourself a kind of um, 
you know, an iPad, if you've got an old iPad or you've got an old one of them Samsung tablet things, they can come in quite handy. You can, I, I, I like the second phone, the, the foldy phone. I don't like too much mounted on the dashboard in front of me. I find it distracting. And I just love it all in one device. It's all charged, it's all working, it's all ready to go. I press a button and it works. I spend enough time programming these things as it is without having to turn two of them on and then hotspot one to another one and then try and work out why it's not working. But so yeah, seven and a half tons sign now. Um, so it just gives you an idea of how it works. And like I say, Road Lords didn't come out maybe the greatest on this particular test, but that is not a fair indication. There have been times where Waze is going straight on. I know it's a sign that's going six foot six width restriction and I'm going, you ain't doing me no favours at all right now. So I would say both of them have their merits, both of them are free. If you can get both of them working at the same time, if you're in a bigger vehicle, even if you're in a three and a half tonne loot, and there's been times where um, I'll be driving through London and I've been doing width restrictions all the time on ways, and you think, I can get through them, but I really wish that I'd programmed this so that I didn't have to. So, you know, just go around, it takes a little bit longer, but it's easier. But you do, you yeah, stick it in the comments and see what you guys think. We'll discuss it on Sunday. In the meantime, Battle of the, battle of the Satnevs. Wades, Road, Wades versus Road Lords. You decide. Take care. Take care.